Uh, so the weather has begun to turn here in Nelson. Yep, she's pretty great up there and it's uh, definitely raining on me. Uh, the temperature has begun dropping as well at night time, so I think today is the right day to begin harvesting the angelfish that have been sitting outside. So before we go any further in this video, I have a request. If there is any YouTube uh people i don't know the word i'm looking for that want to do a collab with me please let me know uh, send us a message on the facebook page uh preferably but not um, essential if you run a fish shop or an aquarium shop or something like that um just just kind of the way that i, I would like this um, collaboration to run but if you don't that is absolutely fine so if there's anyone that is interested in doing a video together please send us a message on our facebook page which is the fish room nz Excellent, let's get on with the angels. All right, so here is the beast I need to deal with. As you can see, it is still raining. So the plan is to remove all the wood. Any wood that is waterlogged is going inside. Then I'll begin taking buckets of water, putting that inside as well. And then I'll start catching angelfish. All right, let's do this. So these are the ones that are, are still inside my fish room. There's a few more back in this corner here. Uh, they've now got a few extra fish in here. There's a few plecos and a few corys, nothing major. But they're growing quite nicely. Get fed once or twice a day. Put it on a good bit of size, so I'm pretty happy with that. And inside, we have these ones. One down here. I think the ones inside are slightly bigger. Not by much. I think they're a little bit bigger than the ones that were in the fish room. So they get fed a couple times a day, water change once or twice a week. So, yeah. Anyway, let's check out the outside. All right, all the wood's out. That is my sunk pile, which is a fairly good size. And that is my non-waterlogged pile. So the tank is empty. Uh, one thing that was very obvious to me is that the water is relatively cold. Uh, I did this similar experiment last year and I pulled pin at the end of March, early April, which was far too late. Uh, we're sitting at end of February, so I was hoping the water would still be a bit warmer. But I could, I've definitely felt that the weather itself's on the turn, so we'll see how we go. So now I'm going to go inside, put all this stuff into my display tank, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so this is what I'm working with at the moment. Really, what that was? Anyway, this is what I'm working with at the moment. I'm not planning on doing any major scape work with the wood coming in. Um, I'll probably work on a bigger pile this side, open bigger pile this side. I'd say that'll be the theory that I use. So let's see how we go. So first lot of wood's in and it's quite obvious there's a difference between the old stuff and the new stuff and the coloration. I'm sure that's probably because of uh, extra fish picking at it, like we're kind of seeing there, and um, all the plecos in here rasping and stuff like that. But there is quite a clear difference in colour, which is quite interesting. I collected it all at the same time from the same place, so it's just obviously the uh, different environments have tainted it slightly differently. Alright, so that's just one handful, I'll just throw some more in and go from there. The old Royal Whiptail straight into his work. Chomper, chomper, chomper. Uh, while I was at it, I thought I might as well throw a stack of oak leaves in. So obviously they're still floating, so it's providing a bit of a canopy, but it's already 
change these guys a bit. And as you can see, the light's not really coming through because they're floating, but that's cool. Alright, a little bit more wood coming. Alright, we've got the tank pretty well empty. It's taken this long to see some signs of life. May not be able to see them. There is some angelfish in that corner there. I'm pretty stoked. Alright, let's catch them. So that's the first one coming out. It's uh, clearly a lot bigger than the other ones and it's got significantly more colour on it. Another one. Let's get this one in the water quickly because it's got a bunch of silt and shit around it. Yep. Awesome. So these guys are clearly bigger than um, the ones in either of those tanks. Got a nice coloration on them too. Living on natural water and natural food and sunlight. Beautiful. This one gave me a real well fit because I caught it then. Around there, the gold around the top of its head was absolutely phenomenal. These are beautiful fish out here. So I put six in here a couple months back, and we have still got six in here. They're definitely bigger than um, the other ones in the other room. Um, so I'm pretty happy with that, so let's chuck them inside and uh, let them go swim. Okay, so these guys here are a couple that have been inside the whole time, these four. There they go. Nothing left, and there's one from outside there. So although it's hard to see, it's very obvious. Well, it's hard to see on the video because it's a bit dark in here now. But that guy there is far bigger and far more colourful than that one. There you go. The bottom ones, those three there, have been outside. That's an inside one. Oh, it's phenomenal how different they are. It is absolutely incredible. I expected outside to grow faster, but I didn't expect them to be be this much more obvious and more dominating. It's incredible. Yeah, it's pretty hard to see inside my tank at the moment, so I can't really do much to show you the escape that's finished. So I'll finish filling it up. I'll get it on, let the filter do its thing. Hopefully when it comes through, there'll be a nice sort of upstands through here. There was some nice upstands through here. There was some leaf cover that'll drop down onto it, and there'll be a bit of silt and stuff like that growing or landing on the wood, which is what I really want to achieve. Sort of silty look. Um, hopefully, the lights shine through and we can see some fish. But yep, that's where we're at for now. Project Angel Fish, I think outside has one. I'll bring the ones from uh, the fish room itself inside soon as well. But I think outside has definitely won this battle. So there they are as a group. I still haven't bought the inside ones, the fish room ones in yet. You can see a clear difference in size between the outside ones and the inside ones. And coloration as well. It's awesome. Alright, I'm going to get the other ones now. Okay, so these ones are from the inside fish room tank. They're nowhere near as big, nowhere near as colourful. Down here. Yeah. Yeah. So the four. So far smaller, nowhere near as colourful as ones outside. That's alright. Seven in there by the look of it. So there we go. Seven or eight or nine or ten or twelve or a few angel fish in there. Let's chuck them in the big tank and see how they look. Alright, so that's all of them in there now. It's a bit hard to see, the water's now so black. That's alright. Not much difference in size 
the colour between the ones that were out in the fish room and the ones that were in here. But it's very obvious that the ones outside were far, far bigger. The angels are doing absolutely everything that I wanted them to do. That's the reason why I bought a nice group of them. They're all together, they're shoaling together. I'm really happy with that outcome. Definitely see the difference in the sizes between the outside ones and the inside ones and the coloration. That's all good. It's my job now to feed up the other ones and get them big too. But I'm very happy. So here we go, they're all finished. They're in. They're settled. And they're pretty happy and they're schooling together, so I'm really happy. Tank's still just a touch murky after I put all the black water uh, water from the pond, uh, the aquarium outside in it. Plenty of extra leaves and quite a lot of wood that's gone in there as well. So it's all a little bit murky. It is clearing. Um, I'd like the clarity to come through a little bit more, but the ta the tannins and the stain to remain. And then once all these leaves begin to settle and drop down, I'll probably like those few patches. Put them in a slightly more natural spots so they're not quite as prominent, but overall I'm pretty happy with how it's gone. Um, so definitely tell the difference in the angelfish but here is the end of the angelfish experiment it was only a short one I have learned that pulling the fish in late February early March is far better than late March like I did last time um, they're only in there for a couple of months I think if I do it again next year I'll start it uh, late spring as opposed to sort of middle of summer uh, the live food that they were getting it's definitely done wonders to them in the natural water with a little bit of rain that we had pre-Christmas was in that tank. Uh, there's been no rain in that tank for a couple of months because there's been no rain in Nelson for that long. Uh, but the fish themselves are definitely growing and that looks phenomenal. And in the process of this I have kind of unraveled the next uh, generation I suppose of my display aquarium in my lounge. I'm looking at doing a Rio Negro style aquarium uh, depending on what fish I can get so there will still be some fish in here that will be removed and there'll be some more that go in if I can't get what I want for the Rio Negro I'm going to base it on black water for obvious reasons angelfish uh, school or two of tetras various plecos and some corridors so that's the plan if I can get what I can find that I want if not, it'll just be an Amazon Blackwater, which I'm pretty happy with, but fingers crossed I can find the Rio Negro plants, uh, fish sorry, that I'm after, and we can go from there. Alright, that is me signing out. I hope you have enjoyed my little experiment with my angelfish. Um, I would encourage everyone, if you've got the ability to put some fish outside over a summer, let them grow up on the natural food. Can't even see that way through. Let them grow up on the natural food and um, get nice, big, and colourful. Hopefully, they go well over the winter, and I can hook them back out over the summer again next year. All right, guys, have a good one. Happy fish keeping, and catch you later.